is New Day Northwest. Now, here's Margaret Larson. Good morning. Welcome to New Day. First up today, a groundbreaking new film about ancient Egypt featuring a distinctly African perspective. Protector of the Gods will start filming this summer, and the star of ABC's The Good Doctor, Hill Harper, has signed on to executive produce. Here to tell us more about this unique project, please welcome Hill Harper to our show. Good morning. Margaret, it's a new day, Margaret. <laughs> it is a new day. It's a new day. Good morning. We want to take advantage of each new day, right? Absolutely. Tell me about this project. I love this idea. Well, I'm, you know, I'm so excited about, um, you know, as an actor, you always want to look for projects to get involved in behind the camera. Mm -hmm. And so Protector of the Gods is a new trilogy, a huge, huge project. It's very ambitious. It's going to focus on the three... Uh, female pharaohs of ancient Egypt from an African perspective. Thank so you. <laughs> so you have Hatshepsut, which mm -hmm. is not that easy to say. Um, then you have Nefertiti and you have Cleopatra. So each oh, film is going to take on um, um, each. And, and so the, it's just so exciting. Now, uh, Kamiko, Kamiko Tarneza, who is the uh, writer, director, mm -hmm. comes from music, and he, he, he's, he was a collaborator with Michael Jackson, etc. He's just a oh brilliant creative mind, and it's a pretty exciting project. So I'm, I'm very happy to be producing. You're executive producing. Yes. You are in charge of this baby. Oh, yeah, it's a lot of pressure. Yeah. I'm actually in charge of just making sure uh, it gets done. Everything happens. Everything happens. You know, the money is there, which yeah. is always, you know, sometimes well, the only thing part. that comes to you is the really hard stuff, right? Otherwise, yeah. somebody would have settled well, yeah, it. Yeah, if, if it makes it to me, that means the movie may be falling <laughs> apart, which is not a good thing. No, I'm kidding. No, it's not you know, going to do you, that. You want to you wanna get involved from very early on in the process. You know, we, we've been doing um, readings of the script with different actors in mm -hmm. New York, really trying to f refine it and hone it, you know, giving notes back and forth, talking through what the messaging is. And then obviously with the huge success of a film like Black Panther, I was just about to say. Um, that that helps our film certainly right. in, in an amazing way. So, so there's a lot of great things happening. At Black Panther and also Wonder Woman, I think for, you know, women, it chart it was new territory and we're starting to ask those questions what do we know of history who wrote history right. who's left out of history and did Whose cleopatra really look there? like elizabeth taylor yeah yeah um, that's one of the questions that, we want to right you really definitely unearth. want to answer that yeah, we want right? to answer and the answer that. is no. no she didn't quite look that way but <laughs> no, it's okay she didn't. Well, we're gonna fix so that so we have an opportunity with projects like this to really reimagine our world in a more realistic way yeah Absolutely. And I think that's very important. I appreciate it. Who else is involved in this? So, so you know, what's amazing, and I, I hate to say this because, you know, people always do this, and I, I, I watch things and you're like, come on. We are negotiating right now and pretty much final with a huge, huge star, um, you know, household name star. What to does be. it rhyme with? <laughs> But we'll for, for the secret. first film, let me say this, for the first film, we have a wonderful, wonderful actress, singer um, named Shingai Shinoa, mm -hmm. who is, um, who, th there's a British band called the Noisettes, and she's the, the lead singer of the Noisettes, and if you know anything about British music, and she's very cool, and she's done Broadway, she's amazing. We're going to get to know so she's gonna be new yeah, you're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna, talent. But, Tell us about this picture real quick. Okay, so that's, that's, uh, that's, that's Shingai on the right, and that's Kamiko who's our writer director on the left. I told wow. him, I said, I said, when I saw that picture, I said, you're channeling like an early 90s prince in that picture. <laughs> um, you know, but, uh, but you know, he's, these are, they're both musical artists and, and, and also performers. And he's worked so hard on these scripts and he's done such an amazing job because it, essentially, if you're a creative being, you're a creative being. And when you channel your, 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 your intellect and your creativity and your energy into something specific, I think that we, we live in a world of, 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 of hashes. And you, know, you can do many things. You know, as, an, as an actor, right. folks just want to keep me an actor. Then I can't executive produce something like this. I think that we can, we can all do you know, that, that saying where, where people say, don't be a jack of all trades and a master of none. I think it's a lie. I think we can be masters of many things. And so I'm so happy that Kamiko has right. taken on this because if he, his will like six, seven years ago, I mean, this has been a l project a long time in the making. If he didn't, you know, sit down to put pen to paper six or seven years ago, we wouldn't be here it today. It wouldn't happen. Yeah. Um, why was it so important to him? You know, I think that he wanted to be involved in telling accurate stories and, and really wanting to tell history the way it is. You know, you, people forget, you just like, you, if we actually went out on the streets of Seattle and we said, you know, it, you know is Egypt in Africa? People would be like, no, Egypt's in Egypt. <laughs> 
yeah. that's where Egypt is. It's, where in they, you know, it's in Africa, right? And so, you know, Egyptians were Africans, you know, and we have this whole idea of mythology and, and, and so much credit is given to Egypt, right, for, for science and development mm -hmm. and all these things. But is that same credit given to the African continent? Not necessarily. Right. And, 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 and so it, I mean, you're talking about the, the wealth of stories that come and the stories are all there. You know, they're there in hieroglyphs. They're they're there in the pyramids. They're there in all the artifacts that we've that have been preserved from this amazingly yeah. dynamic culture. And all of this is BC, right? Everything we're talking about is BC, and we're, and these stories lead you to, you know, it's basically it's a countdown to, you know, Jesus of Nazareth. And right. so it's a, it's an amazing. It's pretty amazing. So rich, where are you going to film this? So it looks like, right now we're you know we're slated to film in Canada. Um, because Which looks exactly like Egypt. It looks just like yes. Egypt. You've got so, it. <laughs> it's you, you know, it's that? amazing. <laughs> um, you know, here's the deal. Uh, the reality is, the Canada has uh, all these film incentives that, that that lead to a lot of production. Mm -hmm. um, you know, uh, we shoot the Good Doctor in Canada. Reason why I'm here in Seattle is that we You're just we shoot the Good the Doctor in Vancouver, yeah. so not very far away, and so. Um, you know, I wish we did more production here, you know, in the U.S. Right. And obviously, I would love to shoot the film actually in Egypt. Clearly, we're going to shoot exteriors there, mm -hmm. but the bulk of the film is going to be interiors. And what you do, and just so people know, you build these sets. It's like, you know, I used to shoot the show CSI New York, and people were shocked to learn that we didn't shoot it in New York. <laughs> what we would do, we shot it in Los Angeles, right. the interior set, but then we would go to New York to shoot all the exteriors. And if you, because if you break down most TV, yeah. Most of it happens inside. People don't think of that because they have all these so it just establishing takes that long shots. To get takes those that, shots. You did an exterior establishing shot and then you're right inside. Well, check so. out Washington State. We have some pretty good incentives. And Washington State is amazing. I've so. spent a lot of time here and I'm really impressed and I'm, I'm, I'm surprised that there isn't more filming here in Washington right. State. Because we could double for a lot of places. Maybe not Egypt, but yeah. possibly. <laughs> Possibly. Tell us about your role in The Good Doctor. You're so good, and that's another well, thank groundbreaking you so much. show. Dr. Marcus Andrews, and it is a groundbreaking show, and I'm so proud. And, you know, some people say I'm the bad doctor on The Good Doctor, and <laughs> I'm the mean one, but I'm not mean. You're not mean. I'm, I'm just, I just expect a certain level of excellence. Right, and, and I, a heart of gold. And, and yes, yeah, so deep down, underneath, the kind way of. Way deep uh, down. Way deep down, there is a heart. <laughs> So, but but you know, I'm so proud of the show. It's our, it's the number one new show on television, which is amazing. You guys can clap for that. Yay! I'll and, definitely um, clap for that. And so that's great. And then, and, and it's also about um, celebrating difference and diversity. And so mm -hmm. I get so many reach outs through social media. People DM me on my Instagram. People hit me on Twitter to say, Hey, my son is on the spectrum. My daughter is on the spectrum. We watch the show together. And 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 they've said to me, Mom, that's what I mean. This is what I'm thinking, mm -hmm. and and so the show has given families um, of, of who who have friends or, or or loved ones that have autism or somewhere on the spectrum a place to to, to talk about right. it and see it, and and it's about celebrating difference in general. It's a very diverse show. Um, Daniel Day Kim, who's on. Uh, Hawaii Five-O. He's the right. executive producer, and so he's he's inspired me to executive produce Protector of the Guys. I'm so glad, and just like your new production, every time somebody can see themselves reflected in our culture and our creativity, it opens up horizons that were not there yeah. before. Yeah, it and makes a difference. Absolutely, and I think the success of the show is also you're going to see because of the show, because Hollywood, the way they do it, they kind of they're copy. It's like they're <laughs> very afraid, and then they do so. So, so. so you're going to see leads of shows have so-called disabilities or autism or whatever that mm -hmm. are that are just the leads of a show because of the success of The Good Doctor. Right. And I think that's an exciting place to be. I think it is, too. Thank Absolutely. you so You're much. You're amazing. Keep creating. Thank you so just much. keep doing these we wonderful things, and we will follow. Awesome. We will follow. Thank you. Thank you. Up next, Call Me By Your Name is getting major Oscar buzz. We're going to meet the author who wrote the novel inspiring the movie back after this.